Hello, Matt Roll 6 4 here once again with another Let's Play. Well, not another Let's Play, another part of Let's Play Dragon Quest 1. Here we just see the ghost and we're going yep, back into the Swamp Cave. You're probably wondering why we're going back to the Swamp Cave. Well, seeing as I've got a magic key, it's the time you put one then to a better use. And yes, getting treasure wasn't good enough. Well, actually it is. And as we activate outside by complete accident, ugh, now we properly select Radiant. Yes, even simple menus fail me. That's what happens when you tap buttons of man lab. Did I? I don't, I don't risk. The enemies here we've already seen before. I think this point, I'm not sure if there's one new one, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. So don't worry about not meeting any new enemies. If they're not a wolf, it's a good thing. That's my philosophy. We have another ghost, and we've seen this thing up before. Oh yeah, in the flipping swamp. And we open this door. Well, Remember enough to go one step closer. And we see a dragon guarding a door with a woman in it. And now we fight the dragon. This thing is a later enemy. However, in the remake, it has a better higher stats. In the original, this thing this dragon was just a dragon. Simple. Same as same dragon as you see, you see many of them later. Here, certain enemies are given given stat boosts. He's pretty hard to hit, especially when you breeze a fireball. So, which means you better hope you have quite a bit of MP and HP on you. This is why I want to do this at level 12. Because if I did it any lower, I would be ripped to shreds. And he just breathes another fireball. While we're fighting this dragon, I might as well talk about today or life. Whatever. Actually, I, I have to ask anyone got 3DS? Do you think it's pretty good? Because honestly, I haven't got one yet. And I would like one. But, it's just that the library right now doesn't interest me. Well, aside from Lego, Star Lego Parts of the Caribbean, Rabbids, Rayman 3D, Lego Soul 3, and another game, I can't remember what it was. Super Street Fighter 4, there we go. I'm really waiting until I get Ocarina of Time 3D comes out. And. And right now I've been trying to beat the original before I even get the 3D version. But anyway, back to Jungle's 1. And we, as you see, we just rescued the princess. The game makes a big deal about us being kissed. And our sprite changes to us carrying her. Which is actually pretty awesome. And this was in the original as well. And in the Game Boy Color remake. I just don't know why, it is such an awesome detail. Although our characters, the main character sprite is tinier. It's fun going into Radaton Castle and actually listening, reading, talking to people and seeing their reactions. I could have flew back. But unfortunately, I do not have a chimera, chimera wing, nor do I have the return spell. I think we learn that in a minute, in a bit. We just fight the same old enemies over and over and over and over. Well, you've seen all these before already. And what the hell is me always doing here? Maybe I'll distract it for a minute. I do not know why the hell we're just stuck 
here waiting for well Christmas. God damn it, hurry up, damn it. Thank you. I should really edit that out, but I couldn't be bothered. I mean I'm yet to know where I like. There are millions of these here. Well not millions, but they're still the same thing before before. They're still weak. We can murder them. If I lost some power. Completely overkill as well. This gets ridiculous when we get Roto's sword. You'll be lolling. Everyone did a sign dying a completely quick yet painful death. Well, you have to, have to wait until all the near the end of the game. And I think we're over the recommend recommended level for that bit. And oh look, we've just leveled up. Driving for Christmas 3, speed increased by 8, vitality increased by 4, max HP increases by 7, max MP increased by 6. Then return. There we go, I got return. At the worst possible time. Damn it. I could have done with this earlier. But anyway. That was actually a pretty amazing speed increase, if I'm honest. And here, I f actually thought we get an extra line when we stop at the end with the princess and co, but unfortunately we didn't. Well, I'm pretty sure it was pretty much the same line that we had before. In the DS version, no, in, not DS, the NES version, the innkeeper says when you've set in the end with the prince while carrying the princess, he says, you are up late. Can't make of that what you will. The guards have seen reactions. Best for reactions, this guy. Oh, where could you be, Princess Laura? With my tears, I envisioned that you're the very form of your body right in front of me. Oh, um, hello. Who's just a god? She certainly looks like a princess. Yeah, that guy was something for, crying for her during the game. And then remember to go to get a prayer and then remember that we've already healed because we stayed at the end. Yeah, I completely forgot all that. Completely hilarious. And all we are doing here is just talking to people, showing off their how they're like my god, you've rescued the princess. <laughs> they can't believe it. But then again, she was kidnapped for years ago. Ah, uh, hello, this is the princess. Douche. Yes, you better off. Better be sorry. You can either say no or yes to this kid. But you might as well. Say yes, I mean, like, she's completely beside with me anyway. Unfortunately, this guy does not have a reaction. Everyone around, around this bit part of the castle do not have an extra reaction, do not have a reaction when you talk to him while carrying the princess. It's a shame, really. You can keep her for a long time. I think you can even go fight the final boss while holding her. Don't get in changing. Ending anywhere, in any way, shape, and form. I wanted to try that though. And we're just getting magic keys for no apparent reason. I don't know why I picked these up, but. Eh. It's always good to have more. Oh, and that old man, but that's her by that cross there. He heals your HP. Although, he's, to be honest, he, it's really not worth it. Especially when you have healing spells and for some odd reason, she's in my way. 
so we go around the long way. And she's finally moved out the way. And we're just near the end of the video actually. And we are just going to take Princess Aura back. Talk to some more people. No, no, right. See their reactions. And the, the king actually hid how. Oh. Freaking out. Can't. Lost, just lost what I was going to say. The king acts hiding this burden on himself. For hiding this pain for quite a long time. And it's kind of heartwarming to see his reaction when you bring back the princess. And I can't remember, I'm not sure. The game doesn't really say how long she's been kidnapped, although it sounds like a really long time. But anyway, the prin princess rescuing the princess is actually optional, by the way. But anyway, that's nearly in. That's all I've got for the video. See you next part, and thank you for watching.